okay and had a really good half turn. So this week we're going on a bear hunt. We're going to look for bears. Do you like my binoculars? I've just made them and I'm going to show you how to make them on Thursday. So look out on dojos for them um, and I'll, I'll show you the steps that you need to make them. So loads of fun. Anyway, I just wanted to say a big hello to Max. Hi Max! I just want to say how proud I am of you doing all these recipes. Miss Wilson showed me the photos of all the recipes that you've done and they look amazing. I just think you've done so well um, and I'm really proud of you. So well done Max, that's brilliant. So hopefully you're going to make what I'm going to do today. So today we're going to make bear cookies. So pour, it's like the paw print of a bear um, onto some cookies and they're really yummy. They're my favourite cookies to make and they're so easy as well. So we'll get started, I'll show you what we need. So we need 125 grams of butter or margarine, a one beaten egg, 50 grams of soft brown sugar, but if you haven't got soft brown sugar, castor or granulated will work just as well, um, and 150 grams of self-raising flour. Um, we need some chocolate button, so I've got some giant ones here, um, but you can use the small ones or any kind of chocolate you've got. So I don't know if you can see here, so we're going to, when the cookies have just come out of the oven, we're going to quickly put on a paw print made with the chocolate buttons. So I've got one main one there for the main bit of the paw, and then I've got these little ones here. So I've had a go, and you can either get your grown-up to cut them in half, or you can have a go with, um, like a, with a blunt knife or a plastic knife. You can do it, so if you just really push really hard, um, it'll be good skills for you to learn, um, provided it's not a really sharp knife. So we just need to cut those in half, and then we're, and I'll show you what to do when we go, but we're gonna put those into the cookies. Okay, so let's put those out away for the moment. So it's really easy. I'm gonna use my mixer today, but you can use, um, you can do it by hand with a wooden spoon. So we're basically going to beat the butter and the sugar together until it's soft and fluffy. and the sugar, just get stuck. So that's light and fluffy now. Um, you need to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or gas mark four and line two baking trays. It makes 12 cookies in total, so I'll put six on one and six on another because they do spread quite a lot, they're quite big cookies. Um, so I've just greased my baking sheets because I can't get any greaseproof paper now, it's all stuck out everywhere, so we just have to make do, but hopefully they won't stick and they'll be okay. Right, so that's all light and fluffy, so all we're going to do now is we're going to add the egg, and we're going to add a bit of flour with the egg just to make sure it doesn't curdle. So I'm probably going to put about, we could count actually, couldn't we? So let's do six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six spoonfuls of flour. I'm going to mix it up again. A bit longer. And then at this point, when it's all mixed in, um, you can always add um, 175 grams of chocolate chips if you're making it on another day, because they are the best cookies ever. So normally I would um, add my chocolate chips in at the end once it's finished, but we're not going to do that today because we're going to have the bear prints on there. in there and then we're 
we'll just need to put it on the baking sheet. See, move this out of the way. So, we're just going to put six on this one. So, just something like that, if you can see. And then just keep going until they're all, use all your mixture up until they're all even. Let's put a bit more on that one. And then I'll do my other six in a minute, but I just wanted to show you. You can see. And then we need to flatten them out. So if we just get some, um, a fork in some water, and then we're just going to press a bit further away today, aren't I? You can't see so we're just going to press them down so they're in a nice circle just to make the bear, the underside of the bear's foot, the bear's paw. So they should spread out nicely. So they should be nice and nice and round like that. Okay, and then carry on and then we're going to bake them for 15 minutes. So these have come out of the oven now and I, um, you need to be really quick. So if you can get your grown up to quickly transfer them to a wire rack so that you don't burn your fingers. Um, and then we need to get the chocolate buttons on while they're still warm, just to melt the chocolate a little to secure it to the cookie. So if you can see, um, a little bit, a little bit, a bit closer. So we're, we're going to put our big chocolate button on first, and if you just hold it on a little bit, it will melt underneath slightly. And then I'm going to put these on. I'm going to put the little, the smaller ones on. If you can see. I'm using the flat side and just holding it on just slightly and it'll melt and it will hold the hold them on to the cookie. So you need to be pretty quick and get moving as quick as you can. I'm just worried about you burning your fingers, that's all. So and then so I'll stay on. So the sooner you do it the better. I've just left the other ones in the oven, I've turned it off but I've just left, it, left them in so that they'll stay warm while we do the first six. Okay, so just hold them on slightly and it will melt and it acts like glue. Oh, these are looking brilliant. They really do look like bear prints, don't they? You might need to hold some on longer than others. Just push them in a bit actually as well, which helps. There we go. And then this, this last one. And again, if I just hold this one up, it's a bit hot, I'll use them up. And then, oops, I knew that would happen. There we go. And there we have it, there are our bear paw cookies. So I hope you enjoy making them, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye!